going? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that smile. <laughs> you have the cutest smile. Oh, thank you. So pretty. Is that the dental hygienist in you coming out? Okay. What's I'm up? Saying, I just, I just What's up? She, <laughs> I just say she has nice teeth, which you do. But I'm saying you have, everyone's watching can see what I'm talking about. She has the prettiest, the cutest little smile. Like, cute smile. So I love that. Welcome to the show. Yes, yes. Can we start? Can you please tell us what your name is? My name is Sherilyn. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And uh, where are you calling us from? Orlando, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. And uh, how old are you, may I ask? I'm 27 years old. Nice, nice. OK, and um, is there any particular church in the area that you go to? Right now, currently, I go to Altamont SDA Church. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to give us a recap? Okay, so this is Sherilyn. Sherilyn, but on your screen, you have a different, a shorter name. What do you go by? Yeah, I go by Sherry. That's another. Okay, so like people okay. remember just... that quicker. So, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I just want so people don't get confused. So this is Sherilyn. Um, she's 27 years old, calling from Orlando, Florida. Uh, did we ask what she did? Oh uh, no, I didn't. What do you What do you do, Sherilyn? I'm a nurse. Ooh. Excellent, excellent. Okay, <laughs> okay. Right. She's a nurse and she attends church here in um, Orlando, Florida, at the Altamont Community Church. Okay, so let's just jump right into it, Sherry. You want to tell the people what you are looking for in a guy? Talk to us. Um. Okay. What's coming to my head? Well, God fearing is the first one. Um, mm -hmm. has he has a relationship with God? Um, also, I'm looking for someone who's able to communicate, and that like I'm not confused. He's not confused. We both know like where our relationship is and where it's going. Mm -hmm. Um, and also someone that allows me to be myself because I am an introvert. So sometimes it's like I may not be all hyper and all over the place. <laughs> But that that's not a bad thing. So if he's able to understand that, then that would be great too. <laughs> that's cute. Okay. And so you said you're a nurse. Okay, mm -hmm. but what do you like to do for your hobbies? Um, some hobbies. I am still trying to figure that out, but for now I would say like theme parks. I like going to theme parks. I like um going to the beach, like nature things, um, going on trails or climbing mountains somewhere. Um, I'm also trying to travel a little bit more, so things like that. Where would you like to travel to? Hawaii is on my list. Oh, nice. So, yeah, just a nice scenic, quiet area. <laughs> okay, um, Sherry, do you have any children? No, I don't have any children. And have you ever been married? Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Okay, nice, nice. So uh, let, let me, let's let the digging begin. So um, are there any, uh, let's get to it. Are there any particular physical characteristics you would like to have with the your future partner? Um, Taller than me? I don't have like a, oh, he needs to be this amount of feet or inches. Just... <laughs> Just taller than me. Um, I'm five something, so I'm short. So it's not like, you know. <laughs> hey. um, he 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 knows where I'm gonna go with this, right? Uh. -oh. And our viewers are gonna know where I'm gonna go with this. How tall are you exactly? Five two. Okay, so can he be five two and a half? Five three? Oh. Mm. That's taller than you. It is, but. We we would have to see. I mean, I'm not. It's not a a deal breaker. Like okay, I'm not good. gonna just be like, oh, you're five two and a half. No, thank you. <laughs> but um, a little bit more. <laughs> hey, fair. Yeah. Good. I just like to always do that because girls we always say, oh, it's okay. Like we try to be nice and be like, oh, right. you just have to be taller than me. And I'm like, no. honey, oh, inch is taller than you. So are you okay with that? You are very true. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm sorry I cut you off there. What other physical characteristics are you thinking of? Um, me, I do like to exercise. So someone who is um, 
who also likes to work out. Not that they need to be like ripped or bodybuilder or anything, but if we if I want to work out, he's not like objecting to that. <laughs> so he's fit in some type of some type of way. Oh uh, yeah. What's your favorite workout? Ooh. I don't I know what I don't like. I don't like cardio. I like more like strength training, so like Ooh. using weights and stuff like that. Really? I, I don't like cardio. <laughs> Interesting. I mean most of us yeah. don't like cardio, but usually women are like our go to is cardio, so it's funny that you say that. Mm. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. Uh do you have an age range? Like what would be your ceiling? Like the oldest, and what would be your floor? Like the youngest. Okay. Um, oldest, I would say four years, and then youngest. Youngest is kind of tricky. I mean, I would say one, um, but obviously maturity goes into that because you could be older than me, but it's nice. not working. So, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, four years. Mm -hmm. So like around thirty-one. Okay. So, um, what you, so is it like thirty-one? Is that yeah? So if you're four, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. We'll do that. Okay. Okay. Can I ask you something while we're here? Mm -hmm. Say a mature gentleman, maybe like thirty-four-ish, very good-looking, well put together, far into his career, is like, "Excuse me, ma'am, you're something that I like. Come talk to a brother." You're gonna be like, "Eh." You violated my number by three, or are you gonna? Be, do you have some flexibility in that? No, there's flexibility. Okay, okay. These are, fle these are flexible numbers. Okay. Like Listen. I can write them down, but it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so I will still take each case as it is. Fair. <laughs> we still let them know. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah, because because yeah. uh, there might be no, some brothers who know. I just missed her by a year. Yeah. So I'm not gonna... <laughs> right, I couldn't help that. That wasn't my fault. We don't want that to happen, so we're trying right. to make it work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and um, not to be weird, but um, we were talking to a gentleman uh, in a previous show, and he was like really big on smiles, mm -hmm. and you know he was like older. Oh yeah. So you would never want you know to discourage. That's all. I just want to clarify for those who might be watching. No, what do you mean? Yeah. When you say you're just because he's because you think he might see her smile and be like, I want to slide to her DM. Cause you gotta keep smiling. You never know. Oh. You, know what I'm you never know. <laughs> Ooh, in the comment section we have age versus maturity. That is a thank you, thank you, Des. That is very, uh, very true. Um, <laughs> maturity. Some people have an age, and they're still very, very. Yeah, both age. both have to be taken into account. Cause sometimes mm -hmm. even if yeah, but true, age and maturity. Okay, and um. So you did mention, like, you said height wouldn't be a hard pass. What is something that would be a hard pass for you? What is just an automatic, like, eh, I'm good on that? For right now, I would say two things. Um, one is religion. I would like to be with someone who is Adventist. And then also, like, like the drinking and smoking, I just, I can't. I know, like, some people do it, and it's fine. Like, that's fine. But for me, I just, that's something that I can't compromise on, nor want to yes. get in an argument about. <laughs> right here. Sure. Sure. Yes. No, so, right yeah. <laughs> okay. So, what was it that hard pass is? Just drinking, your, and smoking, and... Uh, he has to be seven Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, that's interesting, too. No, it's not. That's that's good. I'm glad you have a great boundary. Okay. Next. Um, <laughs> what... <laughs> No, nah, because, you know, um, there's a lot of dudes, not dudes, I'm sorry, and I don't want to generalize, but one of the things gentlemen these days, like, they recommend on dating websites and things like that is, like, to take a lady wine tasting or to go to, like, right. a vineyard or, um, you know, we have a great restaurant out here, Cooper's Hawk. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Eric needs to, they need to endorse, Eric, <laughs> you need to be someone for Cooper Hawk because he tells everybody about it. He yeah, tells everybody about it. <laughs> As soon as I get my website, yeah, I'm gonna make sure that they this. But uh, um, they have like a fantastic wine selection. So I know I know a lot of gentlemen. You know, they find a lovely right. young lady. They're like, "Come on, girl, I'm about to show you something." And you're there. They want to pour. You know, you now we go. So I'm glad you laid it out there. Anyway, there's always I mean, virgin um drinks. Yeah, or, nobody or do, drinks. Or do you not dabble into those either? 
I mean, if there's if it's not alcoholic, that's yeah. fine. It's just not it's, alcoholic. You know, some people are like, I don't want. I was about to go into my Jamaican patois voice. I was about to come up. Maybe my mom is coming through me. But some people, some people are like, I don't want to even, um, you know, anything close to what it is. So okay, you know. That's oh no, as long as it's not spiked, I'm fine. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Okay. Um, does this uh, individual have to be local? like within the central Florida Orlando area, or would you be okay with maybe somebody who's a little distant? Distance is fine. Not like overseas distance, but if you're like in another state, like, yeah, I if if it's supposed to happen, we can definitely make it work. Like that's not a really nice, make it nice. or break it for me. Nice. Okay. And uh, one more thing. Um, I, you uh, stated you were a nurse. Would you like, does their career have to be something similar to yours? Um, do they have to have similar hours to you? And would you mind somebody who like travels for work? Because a lot of gentlemen these days, you know, they travel, like say they have accounts and things like that. And mm -hmm. you know, they might be out and about. What type of, does, what type of career alignment do you need to see? Um. I don't have a requirement on career, like you have to be this or you have to do this. Um, I'm okay with the traveling because I had to travel too with my job. So it's like, as long as we meet somewhere, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Can I ask you a, a question off of that? I know you're a nurse. What hours do you work? Um, it, I did 12 hour shifts, but mm -hmm. now I'm trying to not do that anymore. But I did like night 12 hour shifts and day hour shifts. So, oh, so both. Because yeah. I remember we had somebody who talked about someone came on here and they were saying something that people don't think about is if we work on opposite times of day. Yeah. And right. a lot of times I know in nurses, y'all yeah. can be on like opposite times of other That is yes. very So true. I wanted to put that out there because <laughs> I remember, yeah. yeah, we had a guest who was basically saying like, he he was dealing with someone who worked nights and he worked days, so they yeah. were never able to yeah. spend time with each other. That's tough. And, and it turned into the whole thing. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else on your end, honey? No. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So you okay? You already said that he has to be um, civilly invested. Okay. When was your last relationship? Is it worth mentioning? Oh, that was the <laughs> Yes, it is worth mentioning. Not, um, I guess like my actual like exclusive like relationship, I guess, was like high school ish, okay, in a sense of like, oh, this is my boyfriend, I'm his girlfriend type, yeah, yeah. So, have you been dating since then, though? Um, I guess that's a yes, like on and off, but it's again, like, it's I haven't had anything like solidified, right. Since that time, but yeah. Um, and then when, if you mind, don't mind telling us, when was the last time you went on a date? Um, I'm gonna say a long time. It kind of goes back on what I said about communication, because I feel like sometimes, like I've been in situations where you go out with someone, no one said it was a date or not, but um. then after the fact, it's like, oh, this was a date, huh? And in my head, I'm like. I didn't know that. <laughs> so, so, yeah. <laughs> that is interesting because one of our guests last week, remember Lenox was like, certain things that he didn't character characterize as a date. Is that a thing? Yeah. Like, how can you go out with someone and not let them know that they're going on a date? Or... I can speak to that. I'm like, how do you take somebody out and like, oh, this, this is no. a date, but I'm not letting you know this is a date. Well, it's more of like, because you can hang out, well, at least for me, yes. like, I can hang out with you and do, I guess, the same things that would you would also do on a day. Like, people go, we can go for a walk. Yeah. That's just us going for a walk. Yeah. But then if you come back at the end of the day and you're like, oh, that was a date, to me, it's like, no, that wasn't a date. That was a walk. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> putting the title on it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That is wild. To me. No, in the comments, uh, Mr. Low Rich, we see it here. He says, "Yeah, it's a thing." There is a group of guys who like to kind of dwell in that gray area, so things mm -hmm. aren't really. Um, oh, this is an official date. Hey, please dress up like this. I'm taking you to this restaurant. Mm -hmm. No, 
they, they'll do something. And I've talked to guys like this before. They'll say, hey, I'll, I'll meet a girl and ask her to come grocery shopping with me. So something real, like, random. Can I get the ladies who are watching put um, L-A-M-E in the chat? Because that is as lame as it possibly can get. No. How lame? You're okay. But they're smooth. The dudes are smooth. Oh, listen. How are you going to literally? <laughs> that is so lame. You're gonna be like, oh, let's go grocery shopping. No, okay, no. by the way, that was a great date at the end. No, they don't, <laughs> they don't. They don't say it's a date. They just say, hey, come out with me real quick. Hey, come on, man. Yes. They'll be like, hey, just come out with me. I gotta pick up some things, but I want to talk to you while I'm out. And then they're shopping and they're like talking to you, trying to get to know you in a very Hold neutral, on. unassuming way. I'm a woman. Listen, ladies, we go to the grocery store all the time. Did you, did you know we were on dates with all these guys in the grocery store? We were on dates this whole time. Who knew we were dating? Come on. <laughs> I'll just say, okay, maybe not grocery store. Okay, say like a farmer's market. Something That's the same thing. Baby, okay. the same thing. All right. <laughs> then uh, the dry cleaners? I mean, <laughs> but hey, all I know is, so I know what you're talking about, my dear. Um, there's yeah. a, there are dudes who do that because um, the pressure isn't really on to perform. It's like really neutral. So if it goes really well, they can just kind of keep doing things like that until they make it official. d that's very, very <laughs> lame. <laughs> lame. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just communication. Like if you, even if you want to say that, if someone said that to me, like, all right, but then we don't have to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it can't just be like, you're just going to say, oh, it's a date. And then that's it. So, yeah. <laughs> for me, I know I need like way more clarification. So, I think, yeah. I think, I, I don't, don't feel bad. We all would need more, yeah. more clarification to know if we're going on a date. Am I looking cute or am I walking in scrubs or, or my, my pajamas <laughs> to go down to the store? Hey, but. That, that's how the guy wants it. They want to see a group in a very... Lame! Hey, I'm, just for the record, I didn't do that. I, I dated my wife the normal way, but I'm saying... When look I at him, look at him, look at him. When I've talked to guys, they uh they want to remove all the formality. Because they say sometimes a woman will like go out of her way to put her best foot forward. But if you're just saying, hey, I need to pick up my dry cleaning. Can you come with me? They, they'll just treat it like nothing. She's a hater. All right, what's the next question? <laughs> She's a hater. No, I'm not a hater. I mean, I, listen, I can't hear you. Literally, okay, moving on. I just have to say, I just cannot believe that. I mean, I understand. Like, that's just really weird. Okay, speaking of dates, what would you um, characterize as a perfect date for you? Um, I Thanks guess, so. well, one, being axed. <laughs> And then <laughs> um, after that, that, I'm pretty good. <laughs> I mean, I guess like nature comes in my head. So I would say nature because I feel like that kind of helps. Like if there's any awkward areas, like, oh, they look at the tree, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just like looking into each other's eyes and no one saying anything. So I guess mm -hmm. like any type of nature thing, like the beach or just going to like a scenic route or um, like I said, theme parks, those are pretty. So <laughs> explanatory. Any, so, seriously, anything where you guys can actually really talk to each other. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I feel like that's it. What were you gonna say? No, go ahead. Go ahead. I feel like that's the thing. Like the word that we were that we talked about a few times on the show. Like you know, people the people always say dinner in a movie, which I guess dinner is good, but a movie's like you can't even talk during a movie. So yeah. why right. would you? Yeah. I feel like that's something for an established couple, but that's not something right. you do for somebody who you're just now getting to know them. You know? Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, is it still me? My bad. Sorry. <laughs> I'm coming for you after her, so I'm gonna let her go. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. Okay, sorry. Um, okay. What do you like most about being in a relationship? Oh, that's a. Oh, wow. I don't even know what to say to that. Um, <laughs> I guess being able to. Like being able to talk to someone came to my head, but I don't know how to finesse that, what I said, yeah. but just um, being able to know that you have someone that's able to like, 
like one like know your quirks know exactly like what you're thinking without saying it yeah. um and also having like actual conversation not just like surface conversation mm-hmm. but being able to go like more intellect more deep and stuff like that mm. so i think that's kind of where i would gel <laughs> okay. with um so again it just goes back to communication from the first question yes. <laughs> yes. yeah uh, someone says that one thing like about being in a relationship is um, having someone to like, what, what did they say? I feel like someone said like, just being able to have someone to like bounce things off well though, or like, yeah. 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 So yeah, I yeah. did that. Yeah. That's it. That's like one of the biggest things about it. Okay. Yeah. You already said you consider yourself an introvert, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So do you feel like you're more of a, a homebody or like you like to go out? I am more of a homebody, but I am pushing myself to go out more because I know yeah. that I could live under a rock if I really, really <laughs> wanted to. I know there are seasons where I could be like, you know what? I could just not come out my house. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> so um, majority, I am an introvert, but I will I will go out because there are days where I actually want to see the sun. And then there are mm. days where I know that I need to like recharge my battery. So. Mm. Did, I know you talked about this earlier, but did she say? Did you say you would? Would you rather somebody who's an introvert also, or any? Um, that actually that doesn't matter. Um, I guess like he can be an introvert or an extrovert, but as long as he gets like me in a sense of like. All right, she looked like she just want to be home <laughs> yeah. right now and not do anything. Like that's fine, or I can be like, okay, I know he probably wants to go out, so let me just do that because I know he would want to go out. Mm. So yeah. <laughs> okay, because I was thinking, I was like, I wonder if she wants someone who's an extrovert to kind of help pull her out for when it's time to go out. Uh, or no, I am. That is with Jesus. I'm asking him to pull <laughs> that because I'm just like. I need more than just a person to do. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I, I'm me. actively like trying to do that myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me just do a recap. This is mm-hmm. Sherilyn. Sherilyn, right? Yeah. Sherry, Sherry for short. I just want to make sure mm-hmm. I pronounce it right. Okay, she's 27 years old, calling from Orlando, Florida. She's a yes. nurse. Okay. She's an introvert, but she's willing to be extroverted. Yeah. No, not to be extroverted. <laughs> To be with an extroverted person, yes. or yeah. extrovert person, she likes dates that are like more nature like. Yes, yes, more nature, mm-hmm. walk in the park that costs zero dollars. You're welcome. Oh. Um, going to the mm-hmm. beach <laughs> or anything, she said, where well, she could look at trees and talk about the trees. So, trying to get you a cheap man. No, <laughs> that's that's low maintenance, okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, what do you say? Like, to do for- oh, she wants somebody who is taller than her we haven't seen how much she's willing to go you know even just a bit taller than her she prefer a little bit taller but she would even go a little bit taller just a tiny <laughs> bit taller too. and uh what and he has to you didn't say this but i'm gonna say it i guess he has to be more closer to a more athletic build or like he can handle a workout or like enjoy working out with you is that what mm-hmm. you said right yeah okay um i want to ask you something what do you feel like the best part is about dating you I take the time. I take the time and the effort to express my care and also care about you. I don't know if it's because I'm a nurse, so I'm already like ready to like jump in and like help or encourage. Hmm. Um, so I think, hmm. yeah, I think that's like one of the things that I know that I want people to appreciate is that I appreciate others. Nice. So, <laughs> so I yeah. That. I have a question about that being introvert because I, I read posts. Obviously, I mean, you probably tell I'm not an introvert, so I'm, I'm interested in the... <laughs> what? I'm interested in the opposite. Um, can the fact that you care and you're like, that's one of your major things is caring for people. Is that one of the things that like pulls your energy though? I've read things like that where it'd be like yeah. I, when you're doing so much like that, it could like drain you. So you have to recharge. Yeah, I have to. That's why I also have to like form boundaries because I can, I don't say overdo it, but yeah, do it in a way that I'm not then helping myself. And then mm-hmm. by the time I actually want to help myself, I ain't got no energy <laughs> to Perfect. do anything for me. So yeah, I definitely have to 
learn that you can care for somebody, but you don't need to go so much and go all hard when it's probably not even like that in the situation. Mm. So yeah, I have to boundaries. Balance, balance, <laughs> <for me>. balance. <laughs> Does, yeah. does it mean that just started floating around this week that said, I've had to tell myself that someone else's problem is not my problem. Like, mm-hmm. basically, like, you know. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you have to keep it at a distance. Like, let them handle it, even though you want to. But it's good. Exactly. Yep. That's right, Jim. Yeah. What were you going to say you are coming back for her? Because he said he was ready to come back for you. For oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm gathering. I'm, I'm I know. I feel like he's getting work. ready to just, like, spew all these questions. Yeah, no, I, I, I want to. <laughs> I need to extrapolate. I need to hear a little bit more here. Um, okay, so let's talk about this. You said you wouldn't mind if a gentleman's an introvert or an extrovert. Mm-hmm. What if a guy is really shy and he likes you? He's like, oh, man, she got the killer smile. I would love to talk to her. But when he gets around you, you could tell he's nervous. Would you be the one who has a little bit of patience for that? Or are you like, eh, he's nervous, he's whack, I'm done? No, I would be patient. I mean, I'm a shy person too, so it takes me a while just to like say anything, really. Oh, so, um, like, <laughs> <laughs> so I can, I definitely like understand that. But I remember I watched a video of a guy, and he was saying that like, not like that guys won't take a step, but even if they are shy, they will find a way to like. I guess that you know that something, you yeah. know, is going on. So hopefully yeah. I just pick up on it. But yeah. yeah. Ever since me and my wife have gotten into this realm of things, we've met a lot of shy guys. And, um, you know, we get comments and feedback all the time. And sometimes guys are like, man, like, hey, I really like this person on your show. But like, I'm like, I'm nervous to talk to him. Like, what would I say? Like, just reaching out to them randomly. Sometimes mm-hmm. they feel a little intimidated. I'm, I try to tell them, like, man, that's what this platform is for. Just hit them up. But right. you know, I see the reservation on their end. So I try, like, you know, as the co-host of the show. I, try- <laughs> I thought you were going to say coach. Because I'm like, he'd he be coaching these guys. Like, come on, you got to go in her DM. Like, I'd be like, what are you doing? She's a hater. I'm not a hater. You're okay. <laughs> no, but, I, like, I want to encourage them. Like, hey, man, they're they're willing to hear from you. Like, you don't have to be that shy. But I just want to see, like, how you feel about that. Because there are some ladies, if a dude is, like, slow to get his motor going, or if he isn't, like, quick to be like, hey, girl, you know, I want to do this and that with you, then they're like, uh, he's lame, and they just yeah. let him go. So. Uh, no, I don't I really. Say, I will say that women have a, a shy a shy woman or a more reserved woman has it way easier than a shy or reserved man because, we, I mean, it's not like we have to, be, we have to do any approaching. So you could be shy and... Right. You're like, oh, I'm still waiting on you, but if you're a guy, I don't know how how they. Yeah. It it'd be rough for some of these brothers. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Next one. Okay. So, if a gentleman was um, if a dude, let's say he came to talk to you, and then as you're getting to know him, you found out like he was just kind of like recently in a situation are you the type of girl you need like a lot of time between his last and you or like hey he's up let's talk that's a good question oh like he broke up with her like last week or something <laughs> I mean maybe not last week but I mean say he was... it was just really quick the the turnaround you mean yeah like, say um, he's, he was in a situation and then he's like nah this ain't for me then he saw you he's like oh this situation better okay <laughs> I mean, as long as he's over it, and I for sure, like, know for a doubt, like, there is no lingering feelings that I think he may have, um, then I'm okay with it. Like, I don't, I don't, and that, I've never thought of that, like, having a time, I guess, in a sense, just make sure you're over that person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, my last one, Go ahead. my new... This is my new spiritual question I'd like to ask. Um, like, if a guy's, like, shy about, like, praying with you and stuff like that, um, is that, like, an area you're willing to, like, kind of help him along? Or, like, if he doesn't have that area of his life together, you're just kind of like, yeah. Um, 
Well, again, I'm learning that even with that, like I like we're here to be a witness to people, but I'm not the Holy Spirit. So I am not going to like I will do so much like, yeah, if you if you're like shy about praying and stuff like that, like that's fine, because I know for me, I I will pray over the food. I will like do certain stuff like that. (laughs) So um, I'm not the one to be like, oh, you need to be at this spiritual level like that's not that's not it my main thing is like just making sure that my that our spiritual values aren't compromised and we're both on like the same page of spiritual topics or things like that nice oh kind of like um like spirit uh what's the word if i say like um are you saying like you want to make sure that you guys kind of think the same in regard of like different parts of spirituality like you said like the drinking or like yeah handle the sabbath or different things like that is that what you yeah Mm -hmm. okay yeah Yeah. that's a good one i was gonna say you should ask the question about the physical touch Mm because i feel like it's the best for introverted people so i always want to hear the response you ask okay so he he always asked the question like so what if a guy because some guys you know like when they first there's touchy feely guys like this one right here he's touchy feely he'd be like this Uh. (laughs) it's not like that (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like on a date like if, if if a guy is like trying to touch on you not touch on you but you know what I mean, like hold your hand yeah. and all that and have your hand around you are you okay with that um i mean like i may jump because i'm not like <laughs> i'm not uh i'm not the one that's like always like touchy feely i'm not mm-hmm. saying that he can't but i mean like as long as he's fine when i'm like all right that's too much and he's okay with that and that's that's okay i know that touching is a thing so yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's it's a thing but i know for me because like i know that some people are more touchy feely like from yes. the jump but for yes. me it's more of like a gradual like because i'm looking at other things that are going on besides you holding my hands so. right mm. so you're saying like you have to gauge the situation if you feel comfortable if y'all are in the place where it's like oh we've connected this yeah is appropriate yeah. now yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Not that he he's like, hey, sure, nice to meet you. Okay, let me hold your hand. Right. <laughs> First of all, brothers don't do that. <laughs> okay, the ones I know don't do that. She's a hater. I'm not <laughs> She's like, I know some guys that do that. <laughs> okay. And the reason I normally ask the question is um, there's books and there's like people online who say things like uh, touch helps break the awkward barrier. Like if a, uh, if you meet a lady for the first time, they're saying you should like grab her hand and like, you know, say nice to meet you, things mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. And then um, you open the door and like put your hand behind her and like as you walk her through and things like that will kind of show your like connection and attention to her. And they say it helps make the dates go smoother. So that's the only reason I ask. She's making it seem like dudes want to just holler at you and just start no. giving you a full body. She's like, <laughs> no, I'm saying with that. Okay. I don't mind chivalry like that's fine like opening the door because like for me like when people do that for me like I take note of that because it's not like the whole world is doing it so if you take out the time to do stuff like that like I'm down for that (laughs) cool I think that's it okay so again this is this is Sherry Sherilyn yeah Sherilyn sorry and, and she's a nurse from Orlando, Florida, and she's 27 years old. She will like to date someone between 26 and 31, but willing to stretch it up if she needs to. Uh, She's an introvert, but is willing to be with either one. Uh, She likes nature walk, nature dates is her thing. Um, You can can touch on, you can give her a hug and hold her hand once y'all get to that place, okay? And (laughs) these are things that they need to know. And um, I think what else do we need to cover? We're, we're, you covered it. That's it. Well. <laughs> okay. The best thing about dating her is she's a, she gives herself to you. She's much definitely a giver, but she's gonna be you know give of herself. You make sure you give back so that she is recharged. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so if this is Sher- 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 Sherilyn, if you would like to, um, if somebody would like to slide into the DMs, should they go through Facebook or Instagram? Um, Instagram. Okay. You want to give, I, give us your Instagram handle? Um, I sound like an old person. I don't remember it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it seems like every time somebody here, they say Instagram, which is the most popular one, 
there was like, oh yeah, but what is it? I'm like, what, what's happening here? <laughs> See, we don't have Instagram, so we don't yeah. understand. Maybe because um, Instagram is so unique. I'm trying. I honestly forgot what my the name is. No, I'm saying that the your name is more unique, so maybe yeah. that's why people forget what their name actually yeah. is. Oh, um, okay. I'm a guess because I feel like if I get out of this, then I'm not gonna be able to come back in because I need okay, to go on so my what, Instagram to look. <laughs> no, no, no. What you're gonna do is after the don't worry, we got y'all. After, okay. this, after you, you you get off, you go look and you just put it into the private chat, and then we'll we'll um post it for you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because we don't we don't want you just saying it and everything, and people slide into some random. Right. Place. Exactly. I don't want to give the wrong. <laughs> please, please don't do that. Okay, well, Shirley, thank you so much for joining us. You have been thank a you. pleasure. You thank you, awesome. guys. Yes, you are so cute. And Aww. so, guys, fellas, if you like what you see and see what you like and like what you hear and hear what you like, slide into the DM on Instagram after the show because we'll have it by then the correct one. Oh, snap. <laughs> All right, Shirley, thank you. Have a thank good night. you. Bye, guys. <laughs>